My name is Sam Johnson. I started blacksmithing about 2006. I first got into blacksmithing because we acquired some old machinery and started playing around with it and it was the rest is history. I learned in the backyard, like most blacksmiths generally do, with the exception of an apprenticeship. Uh, mostly trial and error, just playing around with it. You figure out the best way to do stuff and then the, the way not to do stuff. I primarily make hardware, which would have been the job of the blacksmith. Everybody, when they hear of a blacksmith, they automatically assume swords and edged weapons, but the blacksmith was actually the town's hardware shop. So if you needed door hinges and horseshoes and your wagon to be repaired in any way, shape, or form, you would go to the blacksmith shop and you would sit down and watch him fix your horse's uh, bridle or um, trace chains and drawbar for the wagon and stuff. The blacksmith was actually the jack of all trades. Have I ever made any weapons or armor? I've made some weapons, but it's primarily not what I do. Mm -hmm. The weapons, edged weapons are usually built by swordsmiths and bladesmiths. The term smith actually comes from an old medieval term for the word to smite, which is to strike. <laughs> So if you were a smith of some sorts, you would be any sort of skilled technician or craftsman that would use generally the hammer to strike uh, copper, silver, iron. So the different colors, you have a red smith, a white smith would be a silver smith. Blacksmith refers to the black iron that they were. And then today we have locksmiths and watchsmiths, etc. Have anything dangerous happen? <laughs> On one occasion, I actually had a horseshoe, which as everybody knows is round. I had a horseshoe fly out of the tongs and it missed a girl, uh, I don't know, she was probably about seven years old, and missed her face by about three inches. And this was a, a red hot horseshoe. So after that, I never did horseshoes in public again for that very reason. What are some blacksmithing techniques? There's a lot of techniques. It's a, a skill that requires a lot of hand-eye coordination, and you have to know exactly where to strike the iron and how hard to hit it. The length that it takes to make something really depends on the complexity of what you're making. Some things, you could make a nail in about three to five minutes, but if you're doing a really large project, like uh, a, a really complicated coat rack, for instance, it would take anywhere between four, four to seven hours. No, I did not do an apprenticeship. Trial and error, just, I mean, I've been doing this for nine, eight, eight or nine years, <laughs> and nine years of doing something over and over and over again, you get pretty good at it. And I'm still nowhere near a master blacksmith. I, what I do is child's play compared to, you know, a real blacksmith. The difference, like I was telling you earlier, between <clears throat> a blacksmith and a metal bender, I'm just a metal bender, an actual blacksmith is a, a metallurgical scientist who could take pieces of steel and by tapping them you could judge the, the carbon content and you could temper them to make mild steel into tool steel and you could harden things. Just do unbelievable things with steel. So I just do very basic things that you would typically find in a blacksmith shop of the late 1800s, early 1900s. I'd made a, a good amount of tools. The interesting thing about the blacksmith is, is the only tradesman that with the exception of the anvil actually made all of his own tools. When they got the apprenticeship they would start by making their own hammer and then they would make all their own tongs and punches and files and fritchels <laughs> and chisels etc. I generally sell the things I make at like uh, craft fairs and historical reenactments. And that. Every blacksmith has a specific hammer that they use for their daily hammer but depending on the weight of the hammer, on how, how much force you want to strike something with, you have a variety of different sizes and weights of hammers for different, different applications, depending on the project. I've been commissioned to build some pretty interesting things, anywhere from uh, custom garden tools to business signs to mounting brackets for signs to horseshoes and door hinges and all sorts of things. The most common questions I've ever gotten in my history of doing public demonstrations is either, number one, can you make a sword? And my immediate response is no. And the number two question is why are your hands so dirty? 
because I, people don't seem to know that the coal fire that we use is extremely dirty because coal has high levels of impurities such as uh, oils and tar and mercury and lead and sulfur that just creates a lot of smoke. So standing over the, the coal fire all day with the sweat on your brow just collects all this, this soot and you just get absolutely filthy. You know, the blacksmithing, you make some money at it, but it's really not enough to make a living. If you're really good and you've got a good setup, you could make good money doing it. But for the scale that I work on, it's the it's more of a hobby than anything. I, I prefer to call it a lifestyle. It pays for itself and then some, but a lot of the, the funding for the shop and the business goes back into from work. I work the way I do because that's the way it's been done for hundreds of years, and there's really no better way to do it. Modern day blacksmiths are much different than um, historical blacksmiths because the, the tools and techniques that they use, doing it the, the historical way is so much more gratifying. There's so much more satisfaction in, in taking a chunk of steel you know, this long and then drawing it out to four times its length and then twisting it up into this beautiful scroll work and then selling it and then getting paid for your time to do it is so just different than any other trade, you know. The reward is not comparable to money. The look on your customer's face after they see what they've commissioned you to build and the excitement is, is the reward more so than anything that they give you, you know.